Welcome to Belong Church. Today we are continuing our series on the fruit of the Spirit, which is found in Galatians chapter 5, verses 22 and 23, and it says, But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. The fruit are to be demonstrated through our lives um, as Christians and believers in Jesus Christ. As believers, we have Holy Spirit within us to help us to cultivate the fruit of the Spirit. Today we are learning about the fruit of gentleness, and that is the eighth of nine fruit that I've been teaching on. So I'm almost done with this series. And uh, today we are learning about the fruit of gentleness. gentleness. And I was thinking about when I was young and how I was taught gentleness of holding a baby and how I just remember, you know, like as you grab the baby and everyone around you is like, hold the head, hold the head, hold the head. And also animals when I was young, we were raised with a Dalmatian that had, I think it was like 37 puppies. And unfortunately she died having still babies to be birthed. And I have five other siblings and we had to feed those puppies. Every morning we had our own bunch of puppies and we would feed them with little baby formula bottles. But we all, I just remember as my mom and dad, they would tell us to be gentle with them. And you know, we each had to, they stayed in a playpen all together. So I learned how to be gentle, you know, with puppies and how we're taught to be gentle you know, with babies, with animals, um, and then even like gentle things. We've been taught at a young age, you know, to be careful of the pretty small, delicate things that are around in our home, you know, like I think of probably in every home, the son was told, don't throw balls in the house, <laughs> you know, because it causes great damage. But gentleness though, in the Bible, it's, it's just, it's much more than that that we've been taught when we were younger. And the Bible says that gentleness is about how we treat others with our thoughts, with our words and our actions. And gentleness is choosing to care for others, even if they may not be so kind to us. Gentleness is when we help people when they are hurting, caring for them, and treating them as Jesus did, with kind words instead of harsh words. Gentleness takes time to grow. In Philippians chapter 4, verse 5, it says, Let all people see how gentle you are. Jesus was a great example of gentleness. There were a lot of times when Jesus would uh, get into conversations with people who were doing a lot of the wrong things, and instead of telling them what they were doing wrong, um, he just responded with kind words and never harsh words. Uh, the people got to witness through Jesus how much God loved them. And when he responded in gentleness, people listened and heard about who he was and about heaven and also God. It might be easy for us to be gentle when you're around people that we care about but holy spirit helps us to be gentle to all people in all situations gentleness can be expressed by putting friends first even when you don't want to gentleness does not mean weakness or letting um it actually gentleness does not mean weakness or letting others hurt you it actually takes a lot of strength to control gentleness. Um, I think about Costco. I think every week, I, almost every week, I've had a story about Costco. But when I thought of gentleness <laughs> and I applied it to my job at work, I can be so busy. I always say, so busy, crazy. And um, I can be all over the place. But specifically, I thought about when a member comes through the line because I can be assisting a cashier. So as the cart comes through the line, I can be so 
busy and I just think of mental and I'm it's like the I always describe my life at Costco as ba 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 <laughs> It's like my body works that way, my mind's that way and my body just ba 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 but when a cart comes through the line of a, of a child, a small child that's sitting up in the little part of the cart, it's like I go from cra crazy to just so gentle. So I can be like, and it's funny because the cashiers will see me or other employees will see me and they just laugh because I'm so busy. But when that kid comes through the line, it's like, hello, how are you? And then I play with them and I pinch their toes, but it goes from to hello, gentleness. And I just think of gentleness, you know? And um, so it, in Philippians chapter four, verse five, it says, let your gentleness be evident to all the Lord is near. And as we experience God, we will experience and grow more in gentleness. So thank you again for, sh for visiting with me as I have taught on the fruit of the spirit. And next week is gonna be actually the ninth fruit, which will be self-control. So until then, have a great week and we'll see you next week. Love you, bye.